I'm actually going to do some stamping and the image that I've been using is from this gorgeous um, house mouse stamps from Joanna Sheen. This is the one that I'm going to use today. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is start colouring in. So first things first, I'm going to do my little mouse. So we're going to colour his little face. And quite a nice little mouse colour I think. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start shading around these edges. Again, avoiding his little tootsies and his little... And then I'm going to go back to my satin while it's still wet and I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to go over the top of the whole lot there and it just really blends. And what happens is when you do that it really blends that line in even more so that you get a real soft shading rather than a hard line. It makes a huge difference to how it looks. Okay, I'm going to use is pastel pink, and again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over his little nose and his little paws and his feet. Okay, and of course his ear. And then I'm going to get a very much softer pink. I think I've got in here is one called Blush. I'm literally just going to go across the whole of my mouse because he's got skin underneath his fur. And I was watching Joanna Sheen and, and this is what she was doing. She then went over the whole of this mouse with the with this dust with this um, blush because it gives that kind of undertone of his skin showing through and just um, over his feet as well and his hands and his ears just to soften that all down and then I think you can see look it just comes up as a really nice blended little mouse very cute okay so now obviously we need to do his hat and um, that would have to be in the most gorgeous red so I've got here a red called Poppy Let's go back a bit because it's a bit blurry. There we go, Poppy. So I'm going to do his hat in that. Now the white I'm going to leave for a minute because I am going to put some shading on that. But I think what I'll do at the end is um, put some stickles on it. So we'll leave that for the minute. Okay. Now don't forget that you can always use as a guide the colours that are on here on the front picture. And that's always quite helpful as a starting point, okay? So I'm gonna leave that red for a minute to dry because what you can do with the Pro Marcus, which is really good, is you can use the same color for your shading. So that's always really quite handy. Remember, of course, is with the Pro Marcus, is they tend to dry slightly lighter than they appear. So right now, just around the white, I'm just gonna on where the little lines are, where there's some sort of shading that you can see from the stamp, I'm just going to put a little bit of the grey just to give it that bit of shading. And then I'm going to take my ivory and I'm just going to go over that just to blend that all through because that will just blend that shading in. And then by the time I put my stickles over the top, and also don't forget that I'll dry slightly lighter. That will just make that a little bit more um, shaded in dimension. Okay, now going back to my red, I'm just gonna, go, now it's dried a bit, I'm just gonna go over with the same red, but just make that bit a little bit dark around here, just to give it some shading. He's holding a little piece of cookie, so we're just going to make that a small, a tiny bit darker. So I'm going to use my cinnamon, and we're just going to colour that in to make that a bit darker. And then while we're there, we'll just do our cookie in that uh, in the three colours. So we're going to have the caramel, which is slightly paler. Okay, do the caramel. I'm going to shade using the cinnamon a 
the shading again on his on the little piece in his hand there we go and then finally where it's actually chocolate chip cookies we're going to take our henna which is like a really really dark brown and I'm going to put the little chocolate chips in they're already there so you don't have to kind of worry the stamp has done a lot of the work for you anyway so we're just going to add those in so we're going to start okay. with the candle um, and they've done that in green so we're going to start actually with the pale yellow round the top near the actual candle light so we're just going to make a flame and then a little bit of sort of glow onto the actual candle then we're going to take my slightly darker yellow. and we're just going to do the center piece here just to again to give it some shading okay so now um and those two yellows with buttercup and canary okay so now i'm going to be using forest green and apple so we're going to start with the apple for the main part of the candle so I'm going to take the wider end of the nib and I'm just going to fill that in. And don't forget you can turn the nib over and use the pointy, the pointy end of that nib if you need to. Now I'm not going up near the um, yellow at the moment, we'll come to that in a minute and we'll blend that in. So now I'm going to turn over using the same pen and I'm just going to use my finer nib just to get into these more detailed areas here. And I tell you what I've just spotted as well, which I hadn't done, was his tail. So he needs to have his tail. Now, just to blend the green and the yellow together here, I'm just gonna take my buttercup and I'm just gonna, while the green's still wet, I'm just gonna blend that through like that. So that gives a really, again, soft finish to that. Now while that's still wet, we're going to take the thin end of our forest green and we're going to start just doing some shading down the edges here. I mean, I guess you could actually do it that you, that you do the dark and then you add the pale afterwards, but I always tend to like to do it this way around and then just go over it again if I need to. Okay. And then, again, just blending that in there. The other thing is that by doing it this way, you get kind of almost a third colour um, because you've got this, the very pale where the single layer of that um, apple colour is. Then you've got the darker colour of the forest green. And then when you add the, the apple again to blend in the forest green, you don't go over all of it and you've got sorry guys you've got that slightly paler section in the middle there so it's the part of the candle so actually this time I'm actually going to do it the opposite way around and I'm going to use the cool grey um, for the darker parts okay so we'll just turn that slightly so it makes it easier for me to get in so we're just going to do these sections here Just where it actually is stamped so it's not like you've got to really think about it and where the shading is it's already on there which is the beauty of these stamps it's just you know all the fun of just coloring in without all the worry of being an artist you know you just follow the thing now normally I would want to use like a really pale sort of gray but I don't have it so I'm going to use the ivory and just blend that in and hope that that will just bring that up enough so really work that in And that's just bringing over some of that colour. It's not ideal, but I think it'll do the trick. And by the time it's dry again, don't forget it will dry a lot, lot paler. So I think that will just be fine. Okay, okay, so the next thing that we need to do, I think, is the actual bowl that the cookie's in. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to follow the colours that are on here. So it's kind of reds and pale pinks 
so we'll just grab those colours. This one we're actually going to start with the paler colours um, and work our way round. So I'm going to start with um, pastel pink and we're going to just do that round the sort of top part of this bowl like so and then we've got a slightly pinkier pink just here and I'll go over that I think with the pastel pink as well just to tone that down so don't panic it looks hideous at the moment then we've got a bit of orange around the edges of this bowl here just to give a bit of shading and I'll go back to my brush and blend that all in and I'm going to go over on the blush um, over that pastel pink as well again just to tone it right. all and then we're going to take our red but this time we're going to use a slightly softer red we're going to use ruby red and I'm going to just do that around this bottom section here okay and a line of the pink and that's the pastel pink and then going to do the red again okay and then I'm going to go back over this area at the bottom just to darken it off and I'm also going to use a little bit of my cool grey just at the very bottom here just to darken that section off a bit more while that red is still wet so that it really shadows that up and then finally I'm going to go across all of that section with my blush and really just blend that all in and it gives it that slight orangey tone that we've got at the top as well and of course we've got to do the inside of the bowl so again we just do the, the red here and then a little bit of our I keep calling it pastel pink but sorry it's actually blossom our blossom in there and then across all of that with our pastel pink this time. Okay, so there we have our bowl. So now the other thing is that we've got here is that this section here is all in the grey. So I'm just going to take my cool grey and I'm going to colour that section in. And then we'll wait for that to dry and we might uh, highlight that a bit more. And then round the bottom of the bowl and around here we've got some grey as well that's shading you can see it on the on the actual stamp you can see where to, to actually place the grey so just put okay put and then down. actually around the candlelight what they've done is in the picture is they've used the yellow. Shade. you can see there's shading on there on the, where the stamp is they've allowed that to be the dark section so that is actually where the candlelight is hitting so that's why we're going to do that in the yellow which I mean I'm just going to do that in the soft yellow and I'm just going to blend that into my grey here so that it all kind of blends in together and then lastly I'll come back to this uh, section here but lastly the actual note itself again is they've done that in the in the very pale yellow so I'm going to take the wide nib of my buttercup and I'm just going to fill that all in then just down this very inside edge here we're just going to go over with the same colour darken that bit off a bit there and then again just an extra line around the bottom of the dish so then all we need to do is wait for that to dry we'll come back and we'll start making up the card Lally, 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 Lally. 